We're at the uh, East Coast Juchat area and we're gonna check out this hidden gem. I mean, it really is a hidden gem, I'm sure you come. You don't want that building, or this building, but you want the one which is uh, extremely small, that one. Basically, trust you see your plus the noodles. noodles. Okay, plus the uh, I think there's a, a soya chicken over there, right? Chicken. Okay, okay. Yeah. you want it rice or noodles? Uh, rice lah. Uh, maybe one leg. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you need any drinks with that? Uh, actually, I might want some of these. Maybe just one or two. One, one, one. Total is eleven dollars. Okay. There we go. Thank you. God, so this is where they sit. Ah, oh, I see. They actually set out all the stock hall stalls here. That's your chicken. Thank you very much. So how long have you guys been been open? About one and a half years. One and a half years, okay. Oh. Okay, and that's your drink. Okay, thanks very much. It's like very few people here. So I think it's mainly like our first crown sort of place. Um, this looks incredible. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm definitely trying some of this. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay. Can I just get that? Yeah, sure. Maybe some of this. Okay. <laughs> A lot of food here. Okay, we're here at uh, just something. We're here at uh, KL Showers. Uh, it opened in like October 2015, and um, it's so it's at the basement of uh, Katong Plaza Shopping Centre. It's roast meats, kind of, like KL style roast meats, have been a pretty hot favourite among the workers in the area. Actually, unlike the chili-based wonton mee, okay, which is around the area, right? This one is a bit different. It's more KL style. It's got no potent chili sauce. The sauces are uh, the chili sauce you get is at the side, but they do offer a sambal chili as well. Uh, it's flavored with uh, more of the KL style soya marinade, uh, dark soy sauce. It's also got a lot of lard as well. It probably has by far the best char siu I've ever tasted around this area. So instead of the pork shoulder, right, they actually use more of the uh, pork belly. And then the meat is actually more KL style in the sense that it's. Um, it's got no red colouring, it's, um, it's actually less sweet than the Singapore style. And the uh, siu yolk is wonderfully crispy. Okay, the other highlight is the noodles. It's actually higher grade than what you normally get uh, outside. And you don't have the alkaline smell. The two wontons you get, um, they seem to be a bit larger than normal. Well, at least for, for this area at least, especially in this area. And of course there's a free flow lard which is practically icing on the cake. Um, I haven't been here in about a year and a half, so let's try and see what it tastes like. Uh, since I've really broken into it, I'm going to try the, the char siu so minced uh, char siu filling, and then they actually wrap in pastry. Mm, wow, okay. It's got an intense sweetness to it, it's savory as well, um, and it's got that really deep char siu flavour inside. It actually has a flaky pastry uh, on it. Is rather nicely done, very nicely caramelized and reduced. You know? And there's all oh, this fatty bit inside here. 
So they actually put fat pieces inside, which, which actually makes it really good. Yeah. Try the hatsu itself. I think they, they've gone back to using shoulder. Try it again. Oh no, it's not. Wow. It didn't look as impressive the first time around, but bloody hell. It's really soft. Uh, there's a certain layer. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a very slightly sweet dark soy sauce flavour to it. Um, wow. Incredibly soft. It's really good char stew. It's tender, it's um, moist, it's not overly caramelized though. And you can tell that the flavour has all like penetrated right through. Uh, it's almost like, actually it's almost like a really good uh, bak kwa. But not as intense, you know, with a little bit more of a meat flavor to it. Let's try the noodles. Whoa! The springy has got that nice bite, a little bit more of an egg taste, which you normally don't get. And there's hardly any alkaline at all. So I think that they've actually used a, a pretty high grade supplier. You know, they definitely don't do it outside, sure. Lovely, lovely, savory, lardy flavor to it. It's not sweet at all. Hi. Who's <laughs> the main chef? Oh, the main chef. Ah, I see. I don't know how to do it. Ma. Hi, hi. There we go. Mmm, and the meat is soft. Mm -hmm. So they've actually managed to combine the the tenderness of the pork plus. Um, Nice crunch in the skin. It's not over salted. You can actually get a bit over salted basically um, in the inside because they really put a lot of salt in it. But this one is just right, just balanced. If you find it too dry, really. too dry. Eh? After, after a while, it looks like I see that it's starting to look so dry. Okay. <laughs> they actually saw that my noodles was a bit dry. So they came out and they actually gave me extra sauce of it. Um, just tasting the sauce itself, right? Certain lard flavor going on there. Yeah. It's got a very complex savouriness to it, see? but there's no sweetness involved, absolutely not. So whatever sweetness you get, right, it's probably from the marinade from the chakrasi. And even then, it's very slight. Right. Mm. Mm. Much better now. No. More moisture in it, um, with the additional sauce on top. Um, the special black is okay. It's obviously lard oil with what they call a special black sauce, which is like a combination of like light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce. But it's obviously their own secret blend inside, you know, and uh, a bit of a soup, you know. But it really makes the whole sauce incredibly nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm, wow. No. Oh. Fat and noodles are really nice now. And then there's the uh, the pickled mustard leaf. Oh. It's mustard, it's salty, um, salty mustard, and a bit of tang inside. In fact, yes, I think it would work actually very well. The seal yolk. Mm. Okay. Actually, um, there's a very earthy tanginess. And it helps to actually cut through through the fat, and of course, um, adds more flavor to it. I'm going to try the the wontons. Okay, they were a bit small the first time around, but I see that they've upped the size just a bit, tiny bit. Mm, okay, All right. Mm. It's got a subtle salted fish flavor in it, and it's got uh, enough pork fat flaky flavor inside as well. The wonton skins are rather thin, but you can tell it's really packed. Pork lard, which this is going straight in my mouth. Oh, God. gently crispy. Um, we don't actually salt it, okay? So um, it's good because um, it actually adds a certain bit of a crunch and richness into the noodles, and it doesn't um, over salt the whole dish. One more with noodles here. Oh. We're gonna put this aside. I'm going to try the, the soy chicken here. Check that out. Mmm. It's got a very deep soy based flavor. 
um, with enough fat. The skin is beautifully flavored. Let's try the meat again. Got a nice robust chicken taste to it. It's actually got a very lovely meaty texture to it. Sometimes when they do uh, chicken like this, right, this, the meat can, like is almost too soft. Mm. This one's not. Mm. That's way straight in my mouth. Mm. Oh. And there's so much flavour in the skin, and and that really is the best thing. Gonna try the soup here. Yeah? Soup is for the noodles, by the way. Mm, okay, there's a certain um, flavour in the soup, but it's not thin, they don't put MSG, you can tell, just from, just from tasting it. More of the lard, plus the chilli, plus the pork belly soup yolk, a bit of noodles, all one massive combination here. No, well, they now say that fat is good for you, right? One thing I can safely say, that for me, it's my personal pick if I'm in the Chuchat area because it beats any of the Wata Mista out here. Like. The chassis you get here, especially in this area, right? It all tastes like cardboard, it's flat, it's dry. You know, they give you such thin pieces. Here, here, here is actually um, chopped fairly thick and it's moist. The killer is really the chassis here. During lunch, you, they actually give you a free dessert. So today, it's actually green bean soup. It's a perfect finisher to any meal, tell you. And of course the... Uh, uh, uh.